So we're back for a uh, second part. I totally forgot I should have taken this oil filter off in the first part as well. So most of the oil has been drained out already. I just put the, the uh, drain bolt back in just to, so I don't have it dripping and making a mess. Here, I'm just gonna loosen it up just enough. Just enough that I could turn it by hand, almost. Okay. So this is a pretty tight fitting, this tight fitting oil cap there. Oh, there it goes. Let's see if I can turn it off by hand now. Get my pan ready. You guys can see that dripping down. Well, but you guys can, well, maybe, maybe, maybe not. I don't really want to have you guys watching oil drip. That's kind of a waste of time. So I'm take the drain back out again. So actually, let me talk about the drain here. The drain plug. So this drain plug, it's an Allen wrench, uh, eight millimeter. And so this is basically, it's, you know, it's, it's, it's placed pretty fat, almost flush. It only sticks up like two, maybe three millimeters. And stuck on here is the uh, ceiling washer. The ceiling washer is made of aluminum. So you know, a lot of people call this the, the crush washer, and that's what I usually call it too. But you know, technically it's called the ceiling washer. Co so it's made of aluminum because it's soft. So when this uh, bolts on, the aluminum will crush down a little bit. And that's what creates the seal so that way the oil doesn't leak, all right? So let me set that aside and let me talk about what, what I'm gonna do. So I'm actually, I just got myself a Fumoto, a Fumoto valve, oil drain valve basically. Um, this thing, you know, this makes life a lot easier for future, uh, future oil, oil drain, oil changes. So basically this one is, uh, what model is this? This is 106 SX, I believe they call it. So basically this, this is gonna screw onto the, uh, the, the, where the drain bolt is, like so, right? And this is an Allen head. Uh, that's probably a 10 millimeter maybe. Uh, anyway, the screws on, and once you tighten it down, this here is the, the valve, you know, it's a ball valve. And this nipple here, this is where the oil drains out from. So right now this is in a closed position. Normally it would have this little clip here, safety clip, that actually attaches in here, like so, so that way you, this valve can't, can't basically open up if it gets bumped, right? So for this to work, uh, you basically, you, you unclip this safety clip, unclip that safety clip off, lift this valve up, then turn it 90 degrees, and that opens up the ball valve here. Um, oil will drain out, and if you're smart, you, you know, get a little hose that fits over the nipple here, and and uh, so that way it doesn't make a mess unless, unless you get your drain pan right underneath the uh, right underneath where where it shoots out. Uh, but anyway, so that's that's how it is. So to uh, close it, basically turn it back. Uh, then without remember without that safety clip, this thing could, could move, right? So you stick the safety clip back on with the with the words Fumoto right side up, and uh, and that way it can't it can't move anymore. So so I'm gonna wait for this to finish dripping and such, and I'm gonna put that valve on. So I wanted to show you guys that before the, the next step and before I'm gonna. Uh, finish catching all this oil. So I guess we're gonna have to wait for a part three then. I didn't want to make it part three, but, but oh well. Forethought, foresight I suppose, or hindsight. All right, catch you on the next one.